Hey there, how's it going? I'm Andy Sterkowitz, and in this video, what I wanted to talk to you about is why you should become a self-taught programmer in 2020. And I really wanna cover the main things that I discovered as a self-taught programmer when I taught myself back in 2014 and landed a job in 2015 about what the biggest benefits were. And by the way, this video is not for everybody. I'm not trying to say that everyone in the world should be a self-taught programmer or that everyone even should be a programmer. I don't think it's necessarily the right career choice for everybody. However, if you have thought about it, if you have considered actually teaching yourself and getting in the field that way, then this video is for you. So I'm gonna cover the reasons why you should. Now, if you're new here and you're wondering who I am, like I said, I'm Andy Sterkowitz. I taught myself to code. I've had a career in this. And now what I actually do is I mentor and coach people who are looking to do the same. So people who are looking to teach themselves, to learn the skills of a programmer, and then to transition and actually learn how to become a programmer, right? So to get that first job. So I would highly recommend if you're interested in content of that nature to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Now, before I get into the reasons of why you should become a self-taught developer, let me quickly clarify what I mean by self-taught. When I say the word self-taught, people can think a lot of different things. There are many people who think that when you say the word self-taught that you have to be like 100% pure. Like you can't have gone to any schooling, you can't have gone to any boot camp. you couldn't even have an instructor teach you. Like you have to be all on your own, reading through resources and books and all that sorts of stuff. I don't agree with that. At the end of the day, what I mean as far as self-taught is just simply, it means that you have taken the responsibility on yourself to learn how to code. Maybe you are going to school, maybe you are taking a boot camp, but at the end of the day, you're not relying on getting some sort of certificate. You're not relying on getting some sort of degree to land you that first job. You are going above and beyond what the curriculum is, the courses, the homework, like you are learning this on your own. You're spending extra hours beyond what the structure of any course is. If that's the case, then you can definitely consider yourself self-taught. At the end of the day, I really don't care, but that's just the basic definition of what I'm gonna be going with here. So what are the reasons of why you should follow this path of taking the responsibility of learning on yourself? To me, by far the biggest reason why you'll want to become a self-taught programmer is that by going through this process of teaching yourself, uh, going through all the challenges that you're gonna face and going and really learning how to teach yourself, will make you much better prepared to deal with the ambiguity of life. And this is a big one for me. Um, life is full of unknowns, right? Like we kind of don't really, we're not born with understanding how to become a programmer. We're not born with understanding how to get a job. We are, we have to learn all of these things. And we crave structure more than anything else. We want to be told how to do this. We want to give us, we want to have a step-by-step -step structure to this. And so schools and boot camps know that we crave this and they give us that structure. And so we can just sort of follow something and we know by the end we can have an expectation that we can get a job. And this is really nice. I love structure. Anyone loves structure. However, just because a school or a boot camp has come up with a structure for something doesn't mean it's going to guarantee a result. The world out there is a very, you know, cutthroat place to a large degree. And if you are just going to do the bare minimum when somebody else out there who's trying to get the same job is going to do more, right? They're going to go above and beyond, then that school can't guarantee that you're going to be competitive. And so when you take on this approach of thinking of things as you're going to learn how to do it yourself, you're going to teach yourself, you have to think of everything. You have to think of like, how am I going to stand out? How am I going to prove that my skills are on par with everyone else's without a certificate, without a degree? And so you have to think about this stuff all the time and you create your own structure for things, right? So you figure out, okay, I want to get my first programming job. How do I backwards engineer it? How do I figure out how to get to that end goal? And how do I make steps for myself to do it? And going through that process is invaluable because later on in life, when you decide you're going to start a business, when you decide that you're going to go after some other goal that's really hard, you have to go through the same process. You have to start with a goal and you have to backwards engineer how you're going to get to that goal with steps in the way. And somebody else may not have created a structure or a roadmap, and you may be the one who has to forge it. But if you've gone through the process with programming, you can start to understand how to do it on your own. I think that's the biggest benefit of this whole thing. From there, another great reason to become a self-taught programmer is that you'll become a master problem solver. Learning to code requires that you become a problem solver. At the end of the day, programming is all about taking code or a coding language and creating some sort of solution for a problem, right? You wanna create some software that does something for someone and you have to figure out how to make the code do that. And that's the main thing that you'll learn. That's the biggest outcome that you'll get. But a side outcome of that is in general, you'll become a better problem solver. So 
Throw away the code for a moment. Just figuring out how to find information is problem solving. Being more resourceful is a really big key to becoming a problem solver. If you have a tire that goes flat on the middle of the road and you have no idea how cars work, you don't know if there is a flat, like you have to figure out how to be resourceful enough to figure out how to solve that problem. That could be hailing someone down and getting them to fix it for you, or it could be doing the research on Google to figure out how to fix a flat tire. But either way, the going through the process of teaching yourself to code will make you more resourceful. It'll make you think outside the box about how to figure out problems. It'll give you bigger perspective about how to solve any problem that comes into your life. And look, the last reason why I think you should become a self-taught programmer is that this translates extremely well to other areas of your life. I know for a fact that a lot of you guys who watch my channel are interested in starting a business at some point after you become a programmer. So maybe you wanna do freelancing, maybe you wanna start up an application that can make you money on the side, or you wanna take your app big, right? You wanna have like a Uber or a Lyft that grows and you IPO or something like that, which is really cool. However, if you're gonna do that, you need to have a track record of not only executing, but of being able to do things on your own. And by going through this process of teaching yourself to code, you're gonna become very good with dealing with ambiguity, which I said, right? So you're gonna deal well with the unknown. You're also gonna be able to come up with a structure for yourself. You're gonna be able to create a roadmap and execute on it. And even beyond that, you're gonna be able to get started uh, without having to know every single thing about a certain concept or subject. Now this idea of having to know everything before you get started holds so many people back, not only in coding, but in other things. Right, so if they're trying to lose weight, a big one is starting a YouTube channel, starting their own business, they're like, you know, I'm gonna wait until everything is perfect, until I know everything there is to know about everything. I'm gonna, you know, if I start a business, I'm gonna know everything about accounting, I'm gonna know everything about marketing, I'm gonna read all these books, I'm gonna you know, do all this research, and meanwhile, this business is just, this idea will never come to fruition. When I started this YouTube channel, by the way, I used a lot of what I had learned from learning to code in this, in that, I didn't know everything before I got started. I first just started shooting on my iPhone. I didn't use any external audio sources. I pretty much did it all on the fly. You can go back and watch those videos. They're, some of them are quite grainy. Um, my content, I'm not really, it's not the greatest content, but over time I knew that I was just going to figure things out as I went and it didn't hold me back from getting started. And in the same way, learning to code will teach you that you don't have to know everything to throw, to, throw together some projects and you can learn a lot of it as you go. And in fact, the more experience that you have doing something like coding, the better uh, the information that you are going to learn will be retained. So I love the fact that learning to code or teaching yourself to code can translate so well to other areas of your life. So look, becoming a self-taught programmer is much more than just putting a label on yourself, that you're a self-taught programmer and somehow that makes you great. I think that what it comes down to is that by going through this process of really taking the responsibility for your learning, you are much better at dealing with ambiguity. You are, you become a great problem solver, you become very resourceful, and that the fact that this translates to other areas of your life are the biggest benefits of doing this. So if you've considered it, I highly recommend to continue doing what you're doing. If you wanna go back to school, if you're gonna do boot camp, great, that's awesome, but just remember to always put the onus on yourself and don't expect any boot camp or school to really take care or take responsibility for you actually getting that job and learning what it takes to get that first job. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed my videos and you wanna get more content from me, I highly recommend joining my Facebook group. My Facebook group is somewhere where I post more content and also I interact there as well. I keep spammers out so it's high quality content as much as possible. So I will leave a link in the description below here where you can join that group. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and as always, peace out, take care guys.